Good morning, brothers and sisters around the world. Welcome to Peace Through the Word Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in Cochise County of the United States of America, a Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod congregation. I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation, and it's so good to be able to welcome you on this Saturday morning, June 30th, uh, excuse me, June 29th, uh, 2024. So, uh, so good to be able to welcome you no matter where you're chiming in from around the world this morning. My brothers and sisters, on this Saturday morning, we're going to be looking at the subject of angels hear the harmony. You know, <laughs> uh, we're living in a very disharmonious world. You know, we don't hear a lot of harmony, you know, within the world. So it's refreshing to be able to hear the angels hear the harmony. What kind of harmony is it? And uh, how does that apply to us this morning on June the 29th, 2024? Pray that we'll find the answers to those this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I want to begin with prayer, and then I'm going to share with you the worship setting of Matins, which simply means mourning. The church has used that worship setting for a number of years to begin their day. So hold on for just a moment. Okay, so sorry about that. But I want to share, open up in a word of prayer. It's always to begin our morning with prayer, and I pray that that will bless us as well. So we pray. We lay down and we slept, and we woke again, for the Lord sustains us. Protected by your mighty hand, we have passed the night. Lord, we are not worthy of the least of all the mercies that you have shown us. And as we thank you for all the gracious protection, we think of all those who are in sorrow and in tribulation, in sickness, in poverty, in shame, in anguish of soul. Father, we beseech you, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, to comfort my brothers and sisters with the assurance of your unchanging grace and loving kindness. Please strengthen their faith and preserve them from misbelief, despair, and other great shame and vice. Teach them to humble themselves under your mighty hand by recognizing your gracious purpose to work through tribulation, patience, through patience, experience, through experience, hope that will not make them ashamed. Help all sufferers to best their trials until at last your kingdom comes. Deliver us all from every evil work and preserve us unto your heavenly kingdom. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. So my brothers, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise, for the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. 
So Dr. Martin Luther is going to unpack for us the passage of Scripture of Genesis chapter 32, verse 1, that deals with angels hear the harmony. And that passage of Scripture says the following. As Jacob went on his way, God's angels met him. Now, we, 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 excuse me, we may not realize this, but we have a legion of angels that surrounds us. That's a comforting thing. Because oftentimes, sometimes, we think we're going it alone. And nobody cares. And that we're just simply by ourselves. That is not the case. Jesus surrounds us with his angels. So there's a lot of consequences for that. That isn't just to be listened to and then we go on our way. Like we so often do. So let's see how Dr. Martin Luther unpacks this divine truth for us this morning. Angels are spirits who serve all of creation. Their job on earth is to fight for the good of the world and the welfare of God's people. You know, if there was ever a time that we need that, it's now. You know, they, they had the debates, the presidential debates the other day. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to get into the politics stuff, but we need these angels like nobody's business. All right? And that's a testimony to that fact. Okay? So the world uh, and the welfare of God's people. Their job in heaven is to sing glory to God in the highest. In the Lord God, we praise you. Christ says that the angels in heaven always see the face of my Father. Let me repeat that. The angels of heaven always sees the face of my Father, of God the Father. The angels have a good understanding of how the world works. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad somebody does. Nobody down here does, and I don't care what political party it is. All right? They know that there's a correlation between the fortunate circumstances of wicked people and the adverse conditions of faithful believers. They see that. While we Christians are still on earth, we cannot fully understand this, nor can we see how it can be true. And so we go, no, that's nonsense, and we don't pay any attention to this. At the end of the world, after this life, we will understand how all of this fits together. All right. So people who are unfamiliar with the principles of musical harmony have trouble appreciating how the various sounds produced by an organ or a harp can result in such beautiful music in the in, in, in beautiful music, excuse me. In this life we hear the sounds, not the symphony. It appears to us that God is asleep and the devil is wide awake and ruling everything. And, and we, you know, we, when we look at the political arena or we look at our lives and we look at everything in, of our circumstances, we may come to that conclusion by our sinful human reason. But that's a sinful and wrongful um, result. <laughs> okay? So God is not asleep and the devil is working overtime because he knows his time is short. Human reason concludes that neither God nor people are in control of the world. <laughs> you know? And we do. You know, we look at the situation and we go, man, who's in control of this? Nobody's in control of our uh, political administration in the United States. It sure isn't the president. And I'm just telling you, he's a puppet. <laughs> Somebody else is pulling the strings. Okay? But um, God nor people are in control of the world, but everything on earth happens by chance. That's kind of what we think. <laughs> okay? Human wisdom can't comprehend the infinite heavenly truth that God is in charge and he allows many more things in this world 
to succeed than fail. And God can use evil empires, evil kings, evil, pre evil presidents, evil uh, prime ministers to, pr to, to produce good and, and, and in accordance with his will. And so we dare not think that we're God and that we know more than he does. But we do. So we need to confess that and repent of it. Okay, and we do. All right. So God's kindness is more widespread than the devil's cruelty. But human reason makes us uncertain because we experience so much disorder and injustice. We feel uncertain because we don't see by the same light as the angels do. We can't understand how right and wrong life and death, light and darkness all harmonize. And they do. And the reason that they harmonize is they testify to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it's only the Lord Jesus Christ that can make order out of disorder. Okay. So, we need to keep our focus on God's word, on Jesus Christ, on the person of Jesus Christ. The more we spend time in God's word, the, 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 the more uh, peaceful we're going to become. Okay? So my brothers and sisters, Lord have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and then keep it. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house in the place where your glory dwells. So we praise you, O God, we acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To you cherubim and seraphim <clears throat> continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise you. The noble army of martyrs praise you. The holy church throughout all the world does acknowledge you. The father of an infinite majesty, your adorable, true, and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. You are the king of glory, O Christ. <clears throat> <clears throat> you are the everlasting son of the father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God the, God the Father in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servants, whom you have redeemed with your precious blood, help them to be numbered with your saints in glory everlasting. O oh Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify you and we worship your name forever and ever. Grant, O oh Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O oh Lord, have mercy on us, have mercy upon us. O oh Lord, let your mercy be upon us as our trust is in you. O oh Lord, in you have we trusted. Let us never be confounded. So my brothers and sisters, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer that our Lord taught us, the Lord's prayer, and so together we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So, O Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cries come to you. The Lord be with us and with our spirits. So, O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger. 
but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I want to thank you tremendously for taking time out of your Saturday morning to join us for Peace of the Word. I pray that it has inspired you, enlightened you, but most of all, I pray that it has given you genuine real peace this morning. It's a beautiful day here in Cochise County of Southern Arizona. Pray it's a beautiful day wherever you might be or, or in the <clears throat> early evening. And so I can just convey all of God's blessings to you in abundance and wish you all tremendous blue skies. <laughs>